All right, so it's week eight, and this is my um, top ten quarterbacks in the league. So I'm going to go off of just, you know, this year. What you're doing this year, a little bit of your career, and your talent. What talent do you have? Your Any accolades you've accumulated, you know, Super Bowls, MVP, stuff like that matter. The talent you have matters. Your age matters. And what you're doing right now, all that matters. And right now, I would say Patrick Mahomes is QB1. He's the best QB in the league. You know, the quarterback rating is there. The completion percentage is there. The yards, touchdowns are all there. What you want. The the talent is there. The mobility, the arm strength. And, hey, he's got a Super Bowl. He's got an MVP. So, yeah, for me, yeah, it's Patrick Mahomes. And it's close with him and Josh Allen. Got Josh Allen number two. And with Josh Allen is ascending, this could be his year. But right now. I put Mahomes one, Josh Allen two. Josh Allen is just, he's like a new version of Cam Newton, you know. Just big. They, he's, a, he's a leading rusher on this team. Bills still don't have a running game other than him. But the arm strength is there, the talent. He's gotten better every year. You know, this could be his MVP year. The only, I think the difference holding him back is sometimes it's still those those this those interceptions. He he will throw some interceptions through fifteen last year, and like, you know, sometimes he just you know, just will throw some interceptions that just don't make sense. You know, even when he's playing well, like, you know, he he can have three hundred yards and four touchdowns, and he'll just throw a terrible pick. You know, they might be up by thirty points at that point. It kind of don't matter at that time, but. He, it could come back to haunt him in the playoffs because sometimes he just he misses some throws. He's still a little inaccurate at times, but, but other than that, man, yeah, he's number two and ascending real close. But it's real close between them two. Number three, I would go Joe Burrow. He's been to a Super Bowl. He got weapons and he's getting the ball to him. He just you know he's got that something about him. You know he can run, he can move. His offense is always trash. He's getting sacked a lot, but. Right now, I would go him with number three. Uh, four, for right now, I would go Jalen Hurts. You know, talent-wise, probably not top five, but these, the Eagles, are un, they the only undefeated team. He's an MVP candidate. You know, he's got six rushing touchdowns, 300 yards rushing, quarterback rating over 105. I mean, his complete percentage is 67%. He's really showing out this year, really proving a lot of people wrong. And with his team success, all that together, I yeah, will put uh, Jalen Hurts number four. Um, number five, right now, still, right now, I would go with Aaron Rodgers. You know, Packers are not succeeding. They're having some conflict with and with the receiver core. It's not the same, but he's been MVP the last two years, so I don't think you can go from number one to number 10 or something. They can't be that far a drop off. He still got the talent. He still can make all the throws. He's still putting up decent numbers despite the lack of wide receiver help. So, yeah, I'll put Aaron Rodgers in number five. Um, and honestly, number six. But at this point, you know, these guys kind of, kind of similar and not similar. You, you kind of splitting hairs. You can go either way. Six. Um. Six, I would go Justin Herbert. You know, everybody wants Justin Herbert. That's the quarterback you want. That size, that arm strength, that his age, you know. But Chargers got a great offense. Can they continue it? Can he, you know, keep getting better and ascend to another level and keep improving? But I would go Justin Herbert at six. At seven, I'm going to go Lamar Jackson. And the only reason I'm putting him seven is because of his running. His ability, his, I mean, he's got 500 yards rushing. He's doing okay as a passer. He can be very inaccurate at times, still over those guys. And it, it ain't always about the interceptions you throw. Sometimes it's when you throw the interceptions. And that giant game was just crazy to me, just watching it. Like, he has these games where they barely, 
he barely gets 100 yards passing. You know, people want to talk about it, but, like, I don't know. Can you pay his contract gear? You want to pay him? You want to give him $300 million? The Ravens want to run the ball more than they want to throw it. So if you want to run the ball more than you want to throw it, why are you going to give your quarterback $300 million? Because of his running. So that, that puts him at the top of the league. And he's been an MVP, so that counts for something. But as a as a passer, he's still got a lot to go. A, a long ways to go for me. The inaccuracies, the decision making, it's just not there yet. Especially the type of offense they run, just catered. A lot of easy throws to him, RPOs, a lot of just, you know, guy right in front of your face is wide open. Throw it to him. A lot of that stuff. A lot of you know, a lot of college stuff. That's just they make it easy for him in the passing game, and there's a reason for that. Like, you can't tell me that he's in great passing when, when they they set it up for him to be like that. Like, Mahomes, Josh Allen, like, these teams are, you know, running some passing offenses and spreading people out and throwing the ball all the field. They're not doing it in Baltimore. Why not? Why aren't you doing it? They got receivers. They keep drafting receivers in the first round. So, Lamar is seven, eight. Eight, I'm going with Tua. Yeah. Now, physically, he doesn't have it. He's too small. Doesn't have the arm to get the ball deep. But this year, with the weapons they have, I mean, you can't deny it. He's leading the league. He has the highest quarterback rating this year. 70% completion percentage. And he missed three games. He got 12 touchdowns, three picks. He missed three games. So those numbers would be even better. But... He's always missing games. He misses games every year. And just, he's he just got to protect himself. But I, this year, yeah, I think you got to put him in the top 10. At eight, nine. Nine is Matthew Stafford. Solely because they won a the Super Bowl last year. And physically, he's got the talent. You can win a Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford. At any point, they can get it going. You know. They're struggling, getting the ball down the field. But when it's coming off a Super Bowl win, he's still a top 10 quarterback. Number 10, Kirk Cousins. Yeah, Kirk is number 10. You know, people laugh, say you can't win with Kirk, but all he does is the same thing every year. He puts up numbers. The Vikings are 6-1 and one this year. So they're winning. And, you know, every year he's he's not the best. But he's steady. And sometimes that's what you need. You wish it was more, but hey, here's what it is. So those those are my top ten quarterbacks in the league.